Many of you have been asking, why didn't Iron Man use adamantium for his suits? Adamantium is famous for being Wolverine's skeleton and claws, is known for its indestructibility. So why wouldn't Tony Stark, a genius with unlimited resources, use it? Adamantium is incredibly rare. Even for Tony Stark, getting enough to build entire suits would be nearly impossible. Adamantium is extremely dense. A full suit would be too heavy, limiting Tony's agility and flight capabilities. Iron Man's suits need to be adaptable. Adamantium's rigidity would restrict the suit's function functionality and Tony's ability to make quick modifications. This would interfere with the suit's power systems and repulsor technology. Remember, Tony Stark is all about innovation. Let's look at his suit evolution. Iron Man 1. He discovered icing issues with alloy steel and switched to a gold titanium alloy. Second Civil War. After Ant-Man infiltrated his suit in the fight with Cap and Bucky, Tony developed nanotech suits. Tony's goal was always to create better, more adaptable technology. Some of you might ask, what about vibranium? While it's more flexible than adamantium, it has its own drawbacks, mainly found in Wakanda, making it hard to obtain. Vibranium can be rendered inert by sonic attacks. Tony chose to rely on his own continuously evolving technology. Nanotech suits provided adaptability, instant weapon formation and suit reconfiguration, proved protection for the arc reactor. Iron Man's strength wasn't just in the materials he used, but in his genius and constant innovation. Tony Stark created suits that were uniquely his, always improving and adapting to new threats. What do you think? Did Tony have found a way to incorporate adamantium or vibranium into his suits? Or was his own tech the perfect solution? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Marvel insights and hidden details.